Almost 57 years ago, Cain Albert II of Belgium had an affair with a woman for 18 years, and they had a daughter. Now, everyone calls her Princess Delphine. But just a few years ago, she was merely an illegitimate child no one knew about. How did she become a princess after 52 years of being neglected? And what has her life been like since then? Watch the full video to find out. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to get notified as I upload a new video. Let's go on. The wedding of the then Prince Albert and Italian aristocrat Donna Paola was a significant event in Belgium. The couple first met in 1958, and just two months after their initial meeting, the prince introduced his future wife to his family. They married four months later in 1959. Paula came from a noble Italian family and was regarded as one of Europe's most beautiful women, while Prince Albert was the heir presumptive to the throne. They were viewed as the most beautiful royal couple at the time. Paula's beauty and grace were often compared to that of Grace Kelly. Throughout the 60s and 70s, she was incessantly pursued by photographers eager to capture her charm. Despite appearing happy in public and raising three children, Prince Albert and Paola's marriage was far from a fairy tale. During a holiday in Greece in 1966, Prince Albert first encountered Baroness Sybille de Sully's longchamps. Sybille hailed from a noble family as well, with her father serving as the Belgian ambassador in Greece and her mother being an aristocrat. At that time, she was married to industrialist and steel magnate, Jacques Vole. Prince Albert and Sybille were immediately drawn to each other and they soon began an affair that reportedly lasted over 18 years. In 1967, Sibyl became pregnant, and Prince Albert was delighted by the news. At the time, Albert was only a prince and didn't consider it a significant issue. He even suggested divorcing Paola and marrying Sibyl, but she convinced him otherwise. Paola was naturally very angry and had long been aware of her husband's infidelity which made their marriage even harder to maintain. Sibyl gave birth to a daughter, Delphine, on February 22, 1968, officially recognized as the daughter of Sibyl's husband. Although Albert was not present for the birth, he was nearby and sent flowers. To avoid causing trouble for the royal family, Sibyl relocated to England with her daughter the same year. Nonetheless, she maintained contact with Prince Albert who played a significant role in Delphine's upbringing. They spent holidays together, and Albert consistently sent birthday cards and flowers to his daughter. Throughout her childhood, Delphine believed her mother's husband was her father. It wasn't until she was 17 that she discovered the truth. In 1978, Sybille divorced her husband, and four years later, she married a wealthy English nobleman. Delphine grew up in a privileged environment, lacking for nothing. She attended boarding schools in England and Switzerland and pursued her education at the Chelsea School of Art and Design in London, graduating with a Bachelor of Arts in Fine Arts with top honors. In 1993, Prince Albert ascended to the throne following the sudden death of his childless elder brother, who passed away from a heart attack. Although the existence of a royal love child was widely known within royal circles, it remained undisclosed to the public until 1999 when an unofficial book was published about Queen Paola. This publication openly discussed the king's extramarital affair and his illegitimate daughter, causing considerable upset among many citizens. To avoid the risk of a royal scandal, the king distanced himself from Sibyl and Delphine, while the Belgian royal court swiftly dismissed the reports as mere gossip. As the rumors spread, Sabil fell seriously ill. Delphine reached out to Albert for help in protecting her mother from the relentless harassment by journalists. Allegedly, Albert harshly replied, Never call me again. You are not my daughter. This rejection deeply wounded Delphine, especially considering she had spent years protecting him and enduring discomfort. By the early 2000s, Delphine began publicly acknowledging in broadcasts and interviews that she was indeed the king's daughter. However, the royal family continued to dismiss it as vicious gossip. Unfortunately, Delphine felt powerless at the time due to her father's status as the king. In 2003, Delphine married an American husband, 
and they had two children, Josephine and Oscar. She pursued a career as an artist, initially working in London until 2003 when she relocated to Brussels to establish a new studio. Delphine is particularly known for her wearable art pieces, such as the blebla ring and ear accessories, as well as scarves, dresses, and skirts that have been exhibited on runways. She is very talented. In 2013, King Albert II abdicated the throne to his eldest son Philip due to health issues, which resulted in him losing his immunity from prosecution. Consequently, Delphine filed a lawsuit against him seeking a DNA test to prove her lineage. In March 2017, the courts ruled against Delphine, but she persisted in pursuing the matter. Then, in February 2019, the Belgian court made a significant decision. They ordered Albert to provide his DNA within three months. Refusal to comply would result in a fine of 5,000 euros for each day he refused. With no alternative, Albert acquiesced and provided a saliva sample. In January 2020, it was publicly revealed that the test confirmed Albert as Delphine's biological father, concluding a seven-year legal battle over her paternity. Following this revelation, Delphine returned to court, seeking the same rights as her royal siblings. In October 2020, the Belgian court ruled in her favor, granting Delphine the title of Princess of Belgium, along with the style of Royal Highness. This entitlement also extended to her children. Additionally, she was entitled to inherit one quarter of King Albert's estate, a share equal to that of his legitimate children. After years of feeling neglected, 52-year-old Delphine finally had the opportunity to meet her father in October 2020 at Belvedere Castle. She described the meeting, saying, It felt good. There was no doubt that he was my father. Being close to him, I felt it. It was like nothing had happened. Delphine also had lunch with her half-brother, King Philip, after receiving an invitation from him. Her relationship with her father and half-siblings has since become much more harmonious. Now 56 years old, Delphine frequently attends royal events. In 2021, she participated in her first royal event since officially being recognized as a princess, attending the military and civilian parade on the Belgian National Day outside the Royal Palace of Brussels, alongside her husband and other royal members. She also attended the wedding service of Princess Maria Laura of Belgium, accompanied by her husband and two children. Unfortunately, Delphine cannot inherit the throne, and neither can her children, as they are not in the line of succession. Nevertheless, she finally received the recognition she had long sought after years of legal battles. What do you think of this story? Share your thoughts in the comments. And that's it. If you enjoyed the video and want more like it, be sure to leave a thumbs up below in appreciation. And if you haven't already, you really want to subscribe, subscribe to my channel, and take the bell icon so you get notified as I upload a new video every week. See you in the next video.